Sometimes we forget how much leverage we have in our hips and our legs right here in this position as well. We control of him. Okay? It's not that we just sit here and focus on the escape, but there's ways we can actually move his weight over top of ours. So we're in this position here. Another option we have, we can still do all the stuff we were doing, but this is something to catch people off guard. Because I'm just taking, see my knees are kind of angled off this direction here like this? It's taking that direction. Because I'm so attached to his upper hip, it's going to move his hips whatever I'm doing here. So I'm going to put my hand on his leg here, and grab his pant leg, and kind of block this arm. You, like I said, you catch people by surprise sometimes. And I'm just going to take my legs and I'm going to shift. There's a lot of leverage right here. And turn his hips over top of mine and just take them over. Simple fighting. You can manage our leverage or our hips. Being so tight to hit. Does it work all the time? No. But you can catch people sometimes off guard about it. Just don't. In any type of position, if you can just move your hips and get them on top of yours, and then the, the, the movement of just moving left or right can sweep them all the way. So this simple body mechanics. I've got my feet together, I'm pinched. I'm really high on his hips right here. And my feet and my legs are angled off in this direction, so I want to turn them in that direction. And I'm going to help this by blocking the arm here. So he can't post up on his back. Then I'm going to grab his pant leg, and I'm just going to make a shift. I'm getting right on top of me, and I'm going to lift his leg at the same time here. Okay? Now I can follow him all the way up. He's been on top of me like this. Scoot up. And I can start attacking the arm here if I want to as well. Or I just come on. One more time. Yeah. Block him. I'm going to grab. Over. I got a good bite on this hip. I'm on my toes so I can shift my hips up and underneath and I'm scooping them, shifting his whole weight. So his whole weight is going to be right on top of him. Now it's just a matter of moving left and right here to get his body weight to move to where I want it to go. And I'm going to direct it and guide it with the hand. So I can get it here and pull out if I need to. Push out with food. Short back and do whatever. So, okay. Simple so bottom again. This is what maximum leverage will do. Like so it doesn't work every time, but you can catch people on guard by this. And it can give you space that you need to move and do something else sometimes. So again, mm -hmm. trap, knees together, pinch, high on the thigh, grabbing the pant leg or the knee here. I'm going to shift from one side to the other. I'm going to lift my right hand to the air. I'm going to try to hold it up if I can. I can let go. Come up. Make sense? Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Don't tap, guys. 